Hey everyone, Vinayak here. If you had seen my earlier video, I had purchased a 64GB version of the Steam Deck, which is the base model. I was running my games off a 512GB microSD card, but I still wanted more capacity on my internal drive. So let's do just that. I'm going to be upgrading the internal storage on my Steam Deck. Uh, you guys, you can see it's the 64GB version, and I also have a microSD card on this. This is the drive I'm going to be installing. It's a 1TB Kioxia BG4. Before you can do that, you need to first shut down the Steam Deck. I'm using this magnetic bowl to keep my screws in place. This is important as one sneeze or a wrong move and all your deck screws could go flying into oblivion, never to be found again. I'm removing this silicone case as it's only going to get in my way. Oh yeah, I should not forget about the micro SD card, I guess. There you go, 512GB micro SD card. So all my games are on this actually. At last, the Steam Deck has shut down. It's been said that you, it's best to keep the Steam Deck within its case when you are going to be opening the back plate. So these four screws are going to be quite tiny and the, these four screws are going to be big. There are a total of eight screws at the back. So let's start. This is number one. quite small putting it into the plate so the magnet holds it down two three and four now for the longer screws here's one okay this is the length of the longer screws Similarly, you just have to remove all the four screws. Now that all the screws are off, now you have to remove this back plate. So I'm using this uh, guitar pick. You could also use a spudger to actually open up the sides of the steam deck to remove the back plate. Removing it the first time takes a little effort. But as you go on and you go all the sides, yeah, now the back plate is off. This is how the back plate looks. It has the rear triggers also within. And here's the internals of the Steam Deck. We have to remove this board shield first. There's a screw under the silver label here. Try not to rip this label as it has to be reused later. So got a screw out from there, one on the bottom here, and one more on the top over here. Okay, that's done and now this board shield can come off. Uh, okay, like this. Yep, it's off. Oh, it's got all these thermal pads on the back. Now this is the actual drive. Uh, you need a 2230 size drive. And I have this, this is the Kioxia BG4, which is in the 2230 size. And it's one terabyte. So this is an NVMe drive which will be much faster than my internal 64GB eMMC drive. So now got to remove this, first I have to remove this battery actually, the, I can disconnect the battery. And now for the drive. The drive comes with its own heat shield, which I need to remove. I don't think it's for heat only. I think it's also for uh, preventing any interference from the electronics within. Now we have to remove the shield and then install the new drive within. Okay, this shield can be opened up. It's, got, it's like a sticker. So you can just open it up like so. Place the drive within. Make sure the orientation is right. And it should be similar to how you had the original drive here. Uh, 
Okay. It's ready. There you go. Place it back in. Use the screw to fasten it down. Battery is attached. Now to install the board plate back. All the steps that you followed, you just have to do it in reverse. So put the screws back in. First for the board plate. Make sure that the screws are right because, because the screw under the sticker is much thicker than the other two screw screws. Install the screw under the sticker, put the sticker back on. Keep this drive safe because this is at least a backup copy of your Steam OS in case anything goes wrong with the new NVMe drive. And now for the back plate. Just snap it back on. There you go. It's all snapping back on easily. It's actually quite simple to put in a new drive. I didn't expect it to be so simple. Now, bigger screws for the edges and the center has smaller screws. So middle center screws are done and and surprisingly, as fast as that, it's done. But now the main work starts where we need to install Steam OS. First download the um, Steam Deck image. So download the image onto your system. Using the Rufus utility, you can flash the image or write the image onto the USB drive that I just showed you. You can use any USB drive, but the capacity should be minimum of 8 GB. Okay, the process is going on. This is actually sped up. So that's why it's looking so fast, but it does take some time. Okay, now the image is ready on the pen drive. Let's start the installation. You can use a dock or any converter to convert from USB A to USB C to use on the Steam Deck. Hold volume down and click the power button. When you hear the chime, let go of the volume down button and you will be booted into the boot manager. Once in the boot manager, boot from the EFI USB device, which is your USB pen drive. Just select with the A button. It's actually booting off the pen drive. Booting up. This is the option that you need. Reimage Steam Deck. Tap on proceed. It goes through the whole installation process. Tap on proceed again. Once it boots into Steam, connect your Wi Fi. After the files are copied, make sure the deck's connected to power for uninterrupted installation. It is a long process, so you will have to have a lot of patience for this. And... And you would just set it up as you would have done when you first received your Steam Deck. And once all this process is complete, the Steam Deck now would have your new any capacity drive that you would have installed. I'm quite happy with the process. It was quite simple to disassemble, install and assemble back. Great that Valve made the device easily repairable. We get a space of 938.4 GB out of the 1 terabyte. We can also move the games off my micro SD card to my internal drive so as to not need to download all the games again. That's a big plus. Copy time depends on how big the game is. I am glad I upgraded my Steam Deck. Now I have more storage internally and a lot of system files and shaders generally take up more space on the internal drive than the external so in the long run I would have run into problems. Now that I have one terabyte drive within, these worries are now quashed. Now, not all 2230 NVMe drives are made the same and not all of them are compatible with this Steam Deck. 
as some would draw more power and some of them would have memory chips even below the drive not allowing it to fit the confines of the steam deck so to make sure read up on the forums which uh, once are supported i found that the kioxia bg4 and bg5 work samsung pm991a and the micron 2450 are also other models that work i found the process to be quite simple but if you're not used to opening up devices maybe get a store technician to do the same i am now the proud owner of a 1 terabyte model of the steam deck do you have a steam deck which capacity did you pick up and are you going to be upgrading make sure to comment below and also there is going to be no warranty as this is not available in india as yet so be very careful so that was the video make sure to like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added thank you for watching and see you all next time